Hello, I'm Sator Tori from TMDU. I and my colleagues have recently presented a paper, Environment of Cousin Kinase 1 Epsilon Delta in the Pathogenesis of Familiar Parkinson's Disease Caused by CACHD2 to Embomolecular Medicine. I would like to introduce this study. In this study, we focused on CHCHD2, a novel Parkinson's disease responsible gene. CHCHD2 T6 mutant was reported as an autosomal dominant type of disease. To investigate the pathogenesis of CHCHD2, we made CHCHD2 T6 knock in mouse. These mouse exhibited neurodegeneration specific abnormal limb clasping, motor dysfunction, and abnormal gait. Our analysis showed dopaminergic neuron loss in substantia nigra as compactor, SNPC, of the midbrain, and inclusions in neurons of T6 tinocchi mass. Immunostaining data showed CHHD2 T6 ti colocalized with phosphorylated alpha synuclein and cousin kinase 1 epsilon delta. As a result, we discovered the molecular mechanism that CHHD2 T6 ti bound to cousin kinase 1 epsilon delta and this kinase phosphorylated alpha synuclein. Therefore, we injected a cousin kinase 1 epsilon delta inhibitor PF670462 into the knock-in mass using an osmotic pump. As a result, abnormal limb clasping, motor abnormalities, and abnormal gates were improved. Immunostaining data showed that the dopaminergic neuron loss in the SNPC and phosphorylated alpha synuclein were reduced by PF670462. Next, we analyzed an autopsied brain of PD patient with CHHD2 T6i mutation. Immunostaining analysis demonstrates that CHHD2 colocalized with cousin kinase 1 epsilon delta, suggesting that the same pathogenesis occurs in the PD patient. We also used patient iPS cell derived dopaminergic neurons. As a result, we found that abnormal cell shapes and phosphorylated alpha synuclein in patient neurons. These abnormalities were suppressed by PF670462. This is our model. CHCHD2 T6 mutant is bound to cousin kinase 1 epsilon delta, and this kinase phosphorylates alpha synuclein. This results in the creation of fibrillar structured agrosomes and induces neurodegeneration. The abnormalities could be suppressed by inhibitors of cousin kinase 1 epsilon delta, PF670462. We will develop more suitable inhibitors with fewer side effects. We also believe that pathogenic mechanisms such as the T6 time mutation may be involved in sporadic Parkinson's disease. Thank you for watching.